Neil here, episode 5. Wasn't really sure what to do for this episode, to be honest with you. Um, you know, like, where do we go next? we got to make sure that we get a lot of the fundamentals down, you know? So, I thought about it, and I'm like, oh, dude, let's do uh, smelting and some fucking recipes, right? Let's get that worked out. So, uh, let's jump into Eclipse get that loaded up. Let's go ahead and pull up our main modding class. Like so. And uh, let's do some smelting, right? What we want to do is we want to say that if I put this into a furnace, this is going to come out, right? And it's actually pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. So we're going to do game registry dot add smelting. And we are going to have our ore, copper ore. Our output will be a new item stack. Um, and that will be our item copper ingot. And this will be zero. Because we're going to say that you're not really getting any XP out of this. So let's hit S. Right, control S to save it. Excuse me. Um, let's jump in and test this real fast. Single player Neilcraft test. I might as well build a little house here. This might not be a bad place to build a house or the hovel. What is this? What is this? Roofed forest. Huh. Yeah, I think uh, when y'all aren't looking, I'm going to come back in and build a little build a little something right here. So, let's do this. Let's get a uh, furnace. Let's get some coal. Like so. We're going to drop down our furnace. We're going to load it up with some coal. We're going to put some Copper ore in there. Boom. Copper ingots. Right? That's pretty sweet. Right? That's cool. Um, I think that we can... comma two and really what we're saying is we're actually going to get back two ingots whenever we do one of the copper ores now for balance right balance is really what makes um, your mod progressively more difficult as you go along giving somebody two ingots right off the bat probably isn't going to help the balance of your mod but really what I want to do is I would just kind of want to poke around and show you uh, what this looks like right how you can control the different aspects of it. So let's go ahead and put another one in here, and we should get two, if my assumption is correct. Boom, two copper ingots. Again, it's not what we want to do, uh, but it kind of helps you illustrate, you know, what that actually looks like. Let's take that out. So the next thing we want to do is we want to do a uh, recipe. Right, so let's actually do this. Let's say that this is just smelting, and then we're going to come up here, and then we're going to have recipes, comments, and that way we kind of easily, more easily identify our code as we're going through. Um, recipes. We're using items to create other items in a crafting table. So we have our input item, which in this case will be a copper ingot. Then we will have our output item, which will be a copper block. Right, so what we're going to do is we are going to say block copper block equals new copper block 
then the material is going to be material dot I want this one to be metal 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 do we have a metal metal dot iron so that way it, you know it will sound uh, a bit more um, you know metallic when we're tying 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 rather than walking over stone I don't know if that sounds right or what but copper block close that up we're going to register it game registry dot register block and this is going to be block copper block and it's kind of being derpy on me and I'll show you why here in a second or maybe you already know maybe you already know um, I actually have to come up here and declare it should have done that first probably but that's okay block copper block boom so let's go ahead and um, create our uh, block create method I don't want to create the method I want to create the class why won't it let me do that This is again going to go into my blocks class. And much like we did before, we're going to say that this extends block. Um, in here, we're going to say public uh, import block. Add the constructor. The constructor. Uh, I don't like those, so let's just make that material. Material. Public. Get rid of that to do right there. And we are going to um, this dot set step sound. Oh, the other one wasn't that. It was just the material. Whoops. Whoops. And uh, let's put it in our own creative tab. This set creative tab is going to be neocraft dot neocraft tab. There's some other there's some other customization things that we're going to do, but we're not going to worry about those because the purpose right now is to focus on recipes so we've created our item the copper ingot did that a while back now we've created our blocks now what we're going to do is we're going to add a recipe to turn nine copper ingots into a copper block okay fairly straightforward so what we're going to do is we're going to do game Regis red registry dot add recipe and so our output is going to be item stack um, block copper block and um, we're only going to have one of those and our parameters are going to be new object array and we are going to say that it is going to be like this and I'll explore, let me type this out and I'll kind of explain what all of this is
So think of a crafting table, right? You have a three by three grid. Along the top, let's number those one, two, three. In the middle, four, five, six. Along the bottom, seven, eight, nine. So really what we're looking at here is these are the three top spots. This is one, two, three. We go to the middle row, four, five, six. We go to the bottom row, seven, eight, nine. So if we did something like this, and actually, you know what? I'll come back and I'll do that later. I want you to just see how this works once we actually create it in there. We need to say what C is. So what we're saying is that we want to fill up every space with C, right? And what is C going to be? Well, that is pretty straightforward. Item, copper, ingot, right? We're going to close that up like so. Import item stat. doesn't like it for some reason. Hmm. I'm looking at my notes. Everything looks like it's coming out right. Maybe I don't need an item stack? Oh, I need a new item stack. Oh, man. The thing I love about coding is you'll actually stare at your code for hours and be like, I have no idea whether it doesn't work. There's a meme out there that says, my code works and I have no idea why. And then the exact same one, picture below it, my code doesn't work and I have no idea why. And that is so completely true. You'll stare at an error for hours. Hours. Only you'd have a buddy come and look at it and be like, dude, you forgot a comma. And then you choke them out. Um, so we know that our furnace works. Let's get out a crafting table. Right? So we'll come in here and... Voila. Copper block. Now there's a couple other things that we need to do with this. And I'm sure you can guess what those are. So we're going to quit out of here. And we are going to... Paint... We're going to open up our vanilla items. We're going to go to blocks. And this time we're going to go to gold again. Gold ore? No, we don't want gold ore. We already did gold ore. Let's get rid of that. Gold block. We're going to use kind of the same principle that we did here. Adjustments use saturation. There we go. Perfect. So let's save this as. Oh, where do we go? Where do we go? Desktop, modding, Neocraft, source, Neocraft. Assets, you know, craft textures, blocks, whew. copper, block. Again, make sure that this is pretty much going to look like your unlocalized name right there, right there. Copper block. Put that bad boy in there. Now, uh, one other thing that we want to do is actually come in here. We're going to go to our lang file. And since this is a block, we're going to say tile dot copper block dot name equals copper block. And you know what? We could do this block of copper. Is that how they do it in game for like the other stuff? I don't know. Let's go with it. I 
Christ, you're showing up. Oh, I know why. I know why. Sugar. So, um, I really don't re recommend that you do the whole copy pasta thing on your own code because you have to like change each individual part if it's hard coded to that specific class or item. This is just a, a generalization. So we'll just hit Control C and we'll come over here to Copper Block and we'll paste that in. We'll save it. So now it actually knows to go out and get a texture and what that texture looks like. Back in. Big stretch. And, uh, oh, hey, look, there it is. Right, block of copper. Let's make sure that it's appearing over here. Block of copper. Let's make another one. Voila. Block of copper. Not bad, guys and gals. Not bad at all. All right, so thank you for another wonderful episode. Um, I'm going to do some thinking about what we're going to do next. Um, I'm thinking we're going to do some durable items um, next. Or you know what? Actually, now that I think about it, we need to get in and do some world gen. We need to get this copper into our world, so that way we can actually go out and dig some of it up. So I'm going to get that ready. Until next time, thank you all. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode. This is Neil. Bye, everyone.